Right, y'all, welcome back to Come Arms Channel. Okay, so today we are doing a ration review. Now, we haven't done one of these in a while. I, don't, I can't even remember when the last one was. Maybe like a year and a half ago or something. Bruh. But I do have a couple of rations that I'm gonna be doing some reviews for. And today we have a Latvian ration. So again, I haven't checked out Latvia too much on the channel. We've checked out like their special forces and stuff. And while it's cool to check out those videos, it's also kind of cool to be able to kind of enjoy or try some of the rations that those guys would actually be eating as well. So here we have a field ration. So this looks like menu six, which is pasta bolognese. Um, so looks like this entire ration has about 1,656 calories. So not quite like a 24 hour ration. So I'd imagine you'd probably get like two or three of these for a day, kind of like a standard MRE in the US military. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what they have. I mean, the packaging so far looks pretty, pretty modern, I guess, which is like, for me is a good indication that the stuff inside is not gonna be like totally bland and dreadful. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think so far that's that's held pretty true. So they did cut it open in customs, um, but I haven't actually looked at anything inside here yet. So yeah, we're just gonna dump it out and see what's actually included. It kind of says all this stuff on the front, but I haven't really looked at it too much, but I'll do the grand reveal with all of you guys. So if you guys are from the Latvian military, you guys served, let me know how you guys like your rations, or if you've had some foreign rations, like a US ration, let me know how it compares. Okay, so that is it. And then let's try and just lay everything out here. So it looks like we have kind of like a menu here. So that'll be helpful in at least translating some of the stuff maybe. We have a heater. So this looks very similar to, looks very similar to kind of like the US MRE flameless ration heaters. I've seen some pretty crazy heaters in some of these rations, but that one looks pretty similar to ours. Okay, so we have some roasted lentils um, without oil. <laughs> I don't know if the oil is gonna make much of a difference in general, but um, yeah, this looks um, pretty dry. Lentils, I don't know if I've had lentils like ever, um, especially not roasted ones. So I don't know what that's gonna taste like. Maybe like sunflower seeds, like roasted sunflower seeds or something. But um, that'll be interesting to try for the first time. We have a chocolate bar. These are always nice to have, to kind of compare all the chocolate for all the rations, see who has the best chocolate. We have, <laughs> okay, this is just some rye bread that's been kind of like vacuum sealed, which is kind of cool, but also um, makes me a little bit... Uh, hesitant, I guess, or anxious. Again, I've not had a whole lot of rye bread in my life, but this has protein in it as well. So, I mean, I'll take it. Okay, it looks like we have the main meal here. This is a pasta with bol bologna sauce. Okay, that's what it says on the front. Uh, is there a difference between bologna and bologna? I mean, maybe bologna is made with bologna. I don't know. But um, yeah, so this is our main course. So the brand is Cronus. I'm not sure if they kind of just do like normal rations over in Latvia, but that's kind of akin to what we've seen in some other rations where they would just take something that's kind of like on the civilian market and just chuck it in with the military ration. We have some raisins or in their language, uh, rosinas, I guess. Um, raisins, not a huge fan. The texture is just really kind of off-putting for me. And these look particularly oddly colored, but I will try them because, yeah, kind of the point of the video, I guess. All right, and then we have like an accessory pack. So looks like we've got some coffee and some tea. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that out. So we have packet of sugar, pretty big packet of sugar, actually. Cookers, cookers, I don't know, sugar. We have a wooden spoon, this is like, Oh man, I forgot we did have like a, a spoon collection at one point for all the ration spoons. This one's, um, yeah, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's not like the cool high quality plastic ones you get in like the US rations or I think the British ration. What'd you guys call that? Like a racing spoon or something? Yeah, I, I, I think so. Okay, so we have some, this is interesting. This is power gum, which is watermelon flavored, I guess. 
it feels very squished. So if it is gum, I'm not sure what kind of consistency it's in, but that'll be cool to try. We have some high drop, um, so kind of like a disinfectant gel. Okay, pretty cool. We have some more sugar or cookers. And then we have, oh, we have a lot of coffee actually. So we have three things of instant coffee. So it's just Nescafe. So that'll be nice to have. And then we have some green tea. Okay. Lloyd. Not heard of this brand before, but I'll give it a shot. I don't think of Lloyd. I don't know. I'm not sure where it, where it originates from, if it's like a Latvian brand, um, but yeah, that'll be cool. I'm always down for green tea. It doesn't have lemon in it, but um, it should be good. Tea is always pretty good to have. Then we just have some wet wipes. So you can use that for your hands. You can use it for other things, very handy. And then we have some napkins or kind of, you know, tissue paper. So these are pretty high quality. I mean, there's been some where I'm like, dude, I would not even remotely try and use this thing as toilet paper because I would not be having a good time. But these are pretty, pretty thick. And you know, it seems like it would be actually somewhat soft. Again, these end up usually being used for toilet paper, at least in my experience. Um, but I guess experiences may vary depending on your, your job in the military. But that is basically our spread here. I didn't do a great job of like showcasing everything, but yeah, that's, that's it. So, okay. Um, I want to start off with the more bland stuff and then we'll kind of move towards like the chocolates, the drinks, and then the, um, the actual main meal. So let's go ahead and start with some of these raisins because I want to get these out of the way. At least they're not expired. Um, I don't know how long raisins normally keep for, but I'll give it a shot. Um, yeah, so that was a little bit more I mean, raisins are raisins, but again, these look um, particularly uh, not great. Yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. Tastes like raisins. Not a huge fan of raisins, but raisins are raisins. And these are raisins. You know, as much as I don't like raisins, they are really great for like just having some energy on the go. So this has 59 grams of sugar in it, 75 grams of carbs. So yeah, this will give you some, this will give you some energy for sure. Actually, so that's per hundred grams. So this is 50 grams. So basically cut that in half, but yeah, these are great for just getting some energy in you. Um, especially, you know, if you just need some kind of sugar flowing throughout your body and it's an easy thing to stomach, like the flavor is not too crazy strong. So if you're like sick or what have you, it's nice to have some options for some stuff that you can get down without puking it up. Okay. So let's move on to these roasted, uh, lentils. As far as I understand it, lentils are more of a bean and not a nut. I don't know if that's true whatsoever. So feel free to correct me on that, but. You know, one time I ate, uh, what was it? It was like cheddar bacon flavored crickets. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like hey, I'm this annoying like texture. It tastes like hey. And this is exactly what those smelled like, um, just kind of like dry in general. So I don't know if you're supposed to just like, I imagine you just kind of take a handful and then chuck it in your mouth and chew it up and whatnot, but I don't know how else you would eat it. So yeah, let's try it. Roasted lentils. That's horrible. My gosh, it's so dry. Oh, it tastes so bad. It literally tastes like those crickets. It's like sunflower seeds, um, but if the texture was worse and the flavor was a little bit worse as well, and then, <clears throat> oh my God, it's just like they could have thrown some salt in, in here or something, like add some flavor. Like with the nuts in our rations, we had like barbecue almonds, jalapeno cashews, I think. We had just like salted peanuts. Like there's some kind of flavor to make it a little bit less dreadful. Again, this is gonna be like nice to get some protein. So 26 grams of protein um, per this entire thing. So, you know, it's got a pretty decent amount of protein, but to kind of throw all of these down just to get that much protein, I'd rather have like a protein powder or something to be honest. I think both would require an equal amount of water because holy shit, this is dry. Okay, moving on. Let's try the rye bread. 
I mean, it doesn't feel like crazy dense and it still looks kind of like moist under this vacuum sealed packaging, but I, I don't think I've had rye bread in a minute, so I'm not sure. Uh-oh, I don't really have any perforations here. I mean, I never understand why it doesn't hurt to just put like a perforation in. I feel like I'm gonna burn more calories just trying to get into this bread than it's actually gonna give me. If there's any like ration memes out there for the rations that I try out, then let me know what those are. I know like in the US military, we have some like the gum will make you shit yourself basically. Um, you know, the crackers and stuff will kind of clog you up. But this seems like a bit of a meme right here, trying to get into this bread. Okay, so it's actually two different slices, if you will, if I can separate them. It's like separating an atom. <laughs> okay, well, ugh, the smell is um, very strong. So yeah, I mean, that, that's it. Uh, I'm trying to separate it, but it's uh, not working out great. So let's try it out. Again, it doesn't seem like overly dry at least, but it's, um, it is pretty freaking dense. Yeah, I think rye bread is um, kind of an acquired taste. If this had like, I, I don't know, maybe like some jelly or something to put on it, it wouldn't be as bad. It's a very kind of sweet bread. I'm not sure what rye bread is actually like made out of, generally speaking, but this feels pretty sweet. And again, it is pretty freaking dense. So it's got some sugar, wheat flour, rye, um, salt. Okay. Yeah, definitely salty. Um, it, it does have a weird kind of sweetness to it, but uh, yeah, it's just um, not great by itself. If it had something else with it, maybe like some kind of fruits, jelly or jam, um, that'd be freaking awesome to have with this. But by itself, I'm not really sure. There's not really anything you could mix with it, except maybe the raisins. I never thought raisins would really improve anything. Um, usually, things improve the raisins, but we'll see how this combination is. Yeah, that's a lot better actually. They complement each other well. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds like it makes sense. Um, and I would say the raisins do definitely improve the bread. <sighs> Still not great. So again, I'm just trying to think of like, I'm not trying to compare it too much to like a US ration because I mean, diets alone are just gonna be very different. US rations is probably gonna have a little bit more kind of like salty stuff, sweeter stuff as well. Um, and again, this is, so the main meal is pasta, bolognese. So maybe if you're having the bread with, the, with that, that might work. Um, you have a little bit of raisins for sweetness, but those lentils, again, are just super freaking dry. The bread itself is pretty dry. So just kind of eating this already, I feel like I need like a lot of water just to kind of, not just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm dying or I'm like my insides are completely getting dried out <laughs> just eating this stuff. <laughs> okay, so before we get into the pasta bolognese and then the actual uh, drinks, I wanna try the chocolate out. So Latvia, I mean, it's, you know, kind of on the outskirts of Europe there, I guess, but European chocolate is usually pretty good. It's usually better than American chocolate at least. So let's see, it hasn't really separated too much, which is nice. So it's broken down into, I think like six pieces there. So you, you get a lot of chocolate, which is nice. It smells, it smells pretty good. It's a very kind of like what milk chocolate. Yeah, it smells more like a, a milk chocolate, kind of like a Cadbury dairy milk ish, but not quite as a, creamy, understandably. I guess it's kind of hard to keep that, you know, consistency great in a ration, but okay, let's try this out. Definitely a crumbly kind of um, chocolate, kind of like more of like a consistency of like a darker chocolate. Um, not really the flavor, but yeah, definitely, cre definitely crumbly as opposed to like anything that's creamy. So best before, uh, January 6th, 2025, so definitely still good, but um, this is probably some of the worst chocolate I've had in a ration. There's just really like not a whole lot of flavor. So the first ingredient is cocoa and then sugar and then whey powder. So 
how much protein does this thing have? So it's got 15 grams of protein, so that's pretty good. Maybe I think, I don't know, maybe the protein's just like kind of drying it out a bit, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's crumbly. It's got like a kind of like a tinge of flavor, but I would say this is like easily worse than like a, a Hershey. And again, it is ration chocolate. Ration chocolate's not going to be fantastic. Um, you know, it's kind of just supposed to serve its purpose, make you a little bit less miserable. So, you know, it, it does a trick. Um, and I wouldn't complain eating this in, in the field by any means, but, um, yeah, compared to anything that's not in a ration, uh, yeah, nobody would buy this. Uh, just going to be honest with that. Okay. Time for the pasta bolognese. So I'm going to be heating this up in the flameless ration heater. So let's see what we have to do. Um, so it looks like, so tear it. Again, similar like the US ration, insert the meal and then add water to the fill line at the bottom, uh, which is, okay, right there. Okay, so let's try this out. Hopefully this works better than the US ration heaters, which are usually like a hit or a miss, to be honest. Okay, so they've actually attached the heating pads to the bag, which is kind of nice because in the US rations, it would like slide around a lot and it's kind of annoying because sometimes it doesn't like heat certain parts of it. So, or it just folds in on itself. Really that's the biggest issue is it just does that, which is a pain in the butt. So let me flatten out the ration a bit. This is a lot of pasta, holy shit. Okay, so we got the meal in there and now we just need to fill with water up to the fill line, which is not a lot of water, kind of similar to the US ration. So let's do this right. Where's the water? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, it's not even touching the bottom. Okay, so that looks good. So we fill it up and then we just fold the bag. Um, so the heater is under the meal and then lay it down and then wait about 12 minutes. Okay, it's pretty specific. And then, all right, so let's fold this up, try and move this around a little bit. So activates that heating pad a bit. And then of course you gotta get like a rock or something, uh, which this rye bread I think is a pretty good contender for a rock or something. <laughs> And then it's cool. It's got like a little seal tab that you can just affix that to. Okay. Trying to make sure. I do have a smoke detector, but it's over there. So I think we're all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let this rock and roll and then I'm going to get the coffee and then the tea ready. Yeah, that heater sounds like it's freaking working. Let me try and put something on top of it so it like weighs it down a bit. I'm gonna use this 105 Howard Shell provided to me by Wartrace Workshop, all the way from Ukraine. So I guess this is a weird kind of way to employ this, but yeah. It's got some use in Europe, and then it's got some use in America with some European stuff. Okay, so the heater's been going ham pretty much like the entire time. So I think this thing is actually going to be pretty well warmed up. So we have the coffee. Oh, I'm so small in that rye bread. It, oh, it's so gross. So we have the coffee and then we have the tea over here. So again, I'll try and keep it pretty authentic. Now notice there's no creamer as far as I saw, unless this is like the instant coffee that, no. There's some instant coffee that has the creamer kind of like mixed in, but this don't think is that. So it looks like we're just working with dark, coffee and then some sugar. So uh, yeah, I like my coffee pretty sweet. So, oh yeah, the weird thing with having a wooden spoon is I feel like it's going to kind of like absorb some of the flavor. Oh, and like just wood in general has like a weird kind of off-putting taste to it or just smell to it, which kind of like subverts a little bit of the actual flavor from whatever you're eating. Um, depending on the type of wood, I guess. This is like kind of like a balsa wood, it seems like, so. All right, and then let's put some sugar in the tea as well. 
and then we'll try those out after the pasta bolognese. Let them cool off a bit because I always try it when it's like too hot and then I can't even like taste anything anymore because I burn my tongue. <laughs> so, okay, let's try and take this pasta out. Might be an easier way of doing this, but that's fine. Yeah, this thing, this heater is next level. Like this thing is still freaking steaming. Okay, so yeah, oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, so let's break this sucker open. Try not to make too much of a mess. Okay. Oh, it smells bomb. Okay, so try and that's what good pasta with bologna sauce sounds like. Okay, so you guys can kind of see that. So yeah, a lot of the noodles themselves are kind of all torn up, but I mean, it's kind of just like a mash anyway. You don't really need the noodles to be intact for this kind of stuff, especially when you have like a spoon. So it's definitely hot enough. So let's try it out. It might even like burn my freaking mouth a little bit. So pretty decent little spoonful there. So let's try it. Again, the texture of the wooden spoon is kind of weird with it, but yeah, the food itself, I mean, I could easily destroy this entire packet. And that heater was great. Like I didn't even have to mush the packaging around and like everything on the inside, even like the center is all heated up and stuff. You can probably still hear the heater. <laughs> it's still going. All right, so tasty meal, um, pretty decent serving size as well. Let's check out the nutrition. All right, you're being too loud, my dude. You're gonna get over there. Okay, so it's got 380 grams per 100 grams. You have 155 calories, seven grams of fat, 13 grams of carbs, nine grams of protein. So yeah, in this you have probably uh, maybe 35 grams of protein or something, which I mean, makes sense for pasta and especially for, for this much of it. Okay, so Cronus. However you say that. Yeah, Cronus, you guys know what you're doing. Gotta say, that's some nice freaking pasta with bologna sauce. All right, so let's see. Let's start off with the, let's start off with the tea. I feel like the coffee might be a little bit overpowering to start with at first. So we just have their green tea again, Lloyd brand. Oh, this still feels a little hot, but yeah, smells, smells good. I mean, it smells like pretty solid green tea. Oh, well, it's like the perfect temperature too. Um, yeah, it really just honestly tastes like hot water with like a little bit of sugar in it. It's like if you were drinking hot water and like somebody over here was drinking green tea and you kind of like smelled it a little bit. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Uh, so Lloyd, I mean, you got the government contract, so good on you, but uh, yeah, you're not gonna get the civilian market uh, with a product like this. Yeah, green tea is just one of those things. It's like, it's it's nice to have. It's kind of like, you know, it relaxes you. It's good to have like in the field and stuff. More like therapeutic for me, to be honest. But um, yeah, it's not gonna do a whole lot for like your energy. And um, yeah, it just doesn't taste great. So more of like something I would have probably towards the end of the day, not necessarily something I'd want too much in the morning, but I guess that's why they give you three coffees. So we just got some coffee with some sugar in it. And yeah, it's Nescafe. I'm pretty sure I've had this like a dozen times, so it should be decent. Oh, that was actually a lot of sugar. Damn, that's some good freaking instant coffee. It's like really, really smooth. Oh, and I'm feeling that freaking caffeine already. Huh. Yeah, I gotta say, this is actually really freaking solid for just having like the instant coffee and then like some sugar. That's bomb. Let's try that with the um, with some of the chocolates as well. Maybe it'll improve this, bring out some flavor that's just not there. Yeah, the coffee just hydrates this chocolate in a way that like my mouth just like couldn't, I guess. Um, especially, you know, with it being warm, that is like a freaking great combination right there. Okay, so the pasta, pasta was solid, coffee, solid, 
Tea, um, not a fan. Rye bread, not a fan. Raisins, you know, raisins kind of low-key the MVP, at least with saving that rye bread a little bit. There's lentils though. Yeah, um, I would probably never eat them unless I was actually like starving. And then let me try this power gum before we close out the video. Again, I don't know what kind of, it feels like a like an airhead almost, or like a Laffy Taffy. So it says it's gum, but it really has a consistency of like an airhead. It tastes <clears throat> awesome though. As far as like artificial watermelon flavored stuff goes, but I mean, yeah, pretty nice gum. It's better than the gum we get in our rations, especially the freaking red gum. It's like actually the worst thing ever. Okay, so as far as like menu items go or like the options for these field rations, I'm not sure if I got a good one. So definitely let me know down in the comment section if you guys are over in Latvia or if you've had a few of these rations. But um, yeah, so what would I rate this? I, comparing it to other ones, I'm not really too sure. Um, not as good as like the Scandinavian kind of like Nordic country rations. Um, better than like an Estonian ration for what I remember and a Russian ration. Um, but out of 10, I'd probably give it like a, a 6.1. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy stands out. Um, coffee, I mean, coffee is always just kind of nice to have. It is like a better coffee. Main meal is nice, so that's always good if you can stomach the main meal. But everything else I feel like is kind of working against it uh, in a weird way. So yeah, there's there's that. So not like the strongest ration for sure, but I mean, definitely could have been worse. They had some items that stood out, which is always nice. When the ration just doesn't have anything that works for it, then uh, it's kind of just a depressing eat. But again, if you guys have had this ration, let me know how it compares to other rations. Or let me know, again, if there's any kind of like secret, like combining some of the stuff that makes it like all of a sudden like God mode or something. Um, yeah, I, I think I found a couple of it. I'm not sure if there's like actually secrets or not, or just kind of like common sense. But yeah, I think there's ways to make some of this stuff work a little bit better. But of course, if you guys have that experience, let me know. And especially how it compares to other rations, let me know as well. But um, yeah, I think I'll take my American rations over these, uh, at least with this particular one. The, again, the main meal was solid. There's not a whole lot of American ration main meals that I eat, to be honest. So um, yeah, it's always nice to have one that you can, you know, at least put down and actually be a little bit excited to put down as well. And that heater, the heater is freaking probably still going. Yeah, it's still sizzling and stuff. So heater's on point. I wish we had these in our American rations, to be honest. I don't know why it works so much better than ours, but <laughs> jeez. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, I have a couple of these ration videos coming up. So if you guys have any rations that you want me to check out, and especially if you know where I can find them, let me know. I'm still trying to get my hands on a finished ration. That would be kind of cool to check out. But yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, definitely throw it down below. But that is it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.